Hello students. Now I am starting with a new lecture in horticulture which is our applied component and the chapter is flower arrangement the Indian style. Let us first start with what is flower arrangement. It's an expression of one's inner feeling. Arranging the flowers is like art. It's also a science and is often associated with fragrance coupled with the beauty of the flower so as to keep the whole surrounding cheerful and fresh. Flowers are mostly offered to God as a mark of respect and to the near and dear ones, mostly for various occasions. Flowers, everyone knows that they are a symbol of beauty and love. Flower arrangement or decoration is mainly done during various festivals to bring out festive mood. The main three types of flower arrangements are Indian, Western and Japanese style. Today we are going to talk about Indian flower arrangement. The first one being the floral garland. You can have a pick here. It is one of the oldest method of worshipping gods, goddesses. We offer them these garlands. We make these garlands either of one type of flowers or different kinds of flowers can be used. We can also use thread. We can also use different types of uh, um, uh, leaves, golden, yellow threads, etc. Even glistening, shining, golden colored or silver colored threads can be used for making these, uh, these garlands. They are all called har. Flowers can be woven with the help of a needle or they can be uh, made into a har or a garland uh, without the use of a needle. Garlands are used for all purposes. We can also decorate our houses. The different, uh, um, okay, uh, different occasions we can use flowers for uh, decoration purposes. We also use it um, on, the, on the entrance only. That is called Toran in Maharashtra. Especially in Maharashtra, we use Toran for decorating our entrance. At the entrance only, we use the Toran. And uh, we also offer to um, gods uh, for the, at, or, or, um, different, during different festivals. And also, when we felicitate people, for um, various occasions, we make use of these garlands. Now, the second one is Gajra. This is made with the help of the beautiful flowers. You can use any number of flowers, any different types of flowers. Either it can be made from only one type of flowers or it can be made from different types of flowers. Uh, mostly fragrant flowers are used. So, it is short mini garland of compactly woven flowers. May, uh, uh, with or without uh, needle. Uh, generally in Maharashtra especially, we don't make use of needles. Without the use of needle, we make beautiful gajra. Uh, and the, mostly the flower, fragrant flowers are used like jasmine, like mogra, like champa. Sometimes colored flowers may be arranged like asters and corsandra. Even leaves or colored threads can be used to beautify these gajra. It is mainly used to decorate the hairstyle of the ladies. Another style of flower arrangement is veni. It consists of flowers woven around a thick string without a needle. It may be made up of one type of flowers or different types of flowers. And we can use leaves also. You can see in this very picture, the leaves have also been used. Colored threads can be used for attraction purposes. It is also used for hair decoration. You can see here by ladies and also offered to goddesses. Common flowers are yellow button, esters, tuberos, mogra, etc. The other style of uh, Indian style of flower arrangement is floral rangoli. It is flower decoration made on the floor during festive seasons or religious day, uh, these festivals, especially in, in the houses and uh, in the temples. You can have a look at it. It's one of the students who has drawn it with the help of the flowers. This is a floral rangoli. Rangoli can be made by different materials like colored powder, rice paste, plant materials like grains and pulses, the flower, floral petals, etc. Flowers, petals, leaves are all used in making floral rangoli. Now, along with the Indian style, we have Western style in also in our syllabus. In the Mumbai University service. Now western style you will see in the west flower arrangements are made depending on different needs and occasions example bouquets, wreaths and flower arrangements. Wreaths are used when somebody is dead we just offer them wreaths and flower arrangements in vases to decorate homes and offices. You can see here this style these are all flowers of same size they have just made the uh, the, the stalk of the flowers 
is of same size and different flowers have been used. The first one is uh, nosegay uh, bouquet and this one is uh, bed mirror uh, bouquet. This one is hand bouquet and this one, can you imagine this is also a bouquet. This is single set stem bouquet. This is also a bouquet for different occasions we use this. And this one, this one is horizontal bouquet. This we use whenever there is uh, a, a convo convocation or there is some uh, conference. That time the tables etc. are uh, decorated with the help of these horizontal arrangements. And we have also the bouquets you can see here on the hand also uh, the person has uh, used. And this is uh, uh, this uh, arrangement uh, because the, the bouquets if you cannot carry a bouquet, so you can just use it. Uh, this is hand tied bouquet. Can you see here the, on the hand only the arrangement of flowers has been made such that it looks like a bouquet is being carried out, carried over everywhere. There are plenty of other types of bouquets, torch bouquet. There is another type of bouquet that is called bench bouquet. There is another type of bouquet that is called standing bouquet. Many types of bouquets are there which are, uh, which are a part of Western style of flower arrangement. We are continuing with the bouquet. Bouquets can be a flat type also. It's made uh, then generally a thick paper is taken, cut in a triangular shape, folded to make a cone like structure. Leaves and flowers are then inserted in it. It is hand bouquet. Can you see here? The one, the picture is here. The, it is hand bouquet. It is a hand bouquet and can be made by mixing flowers and leaves tied into a bunch with a thread. So you can also use different uh, uh, things like uh, uh, here they have used some cloth. They can also use papers, different glistening, shining papers as you feel like. As you want to decorate, you can use decorate with the help of different papers. Cellophane also can be used. Both the bouquets can be beautified by covering with uh, cellophane paper and tied with ribbon, bow. And uh, you know, uh, uh, some people, there are a bunch of flowers beautifully arranged uh, to offer friends and uh, uh, well-wishers and relatives. It can be made up of only one type of flowers or it can be made up of different types of flowers. You know, sometimes small cards and messages are also fixed inside the bouquets. Some of the common flowers are also used um, for uh, making bouquets. Another uh, Western style is basket or pot bouquet. You can use different pots or you can use baskets and decorate them with the flowers, different types of flowers. This is another method of presenting bouquets. In this small basket or pot, clay or plastic or Malmo mare, there are, or, 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 or this uh, china clay, lot many different types of things you imagine and you can just use anything. The pots are first fixed with either wire or mesh or sponge and then flower and leaves are arranged in it to beautifully by fixing the mesh. This also can be covered with uh, cellophane just to uh, avoid the drying up of flowers. This can also be uh, tied with papers, ribbons, bows and message cards can be pasted or attached on it. The next type of flower arrangement is arrangement in vases. In western style and beautiful container, uh, long or short can be used for arranging the flowers. Western style type arrangement is generally associated with a mesh or a number of flowers and foliage arranged together in graceful manner. You can have a look here. It can be made into various shapes like triangular, rounded, fan-shaped, um, uh, etc. Flowers commonly used are roses, lilies, chrysanthemum, gerbera, carnation, orchids, etc. Today, three types of flower arrangements. We discussed Indian style. More emphasis was laid on Indian style. Then we also discussed a little bit of uh, Western style. And now we are just going to discuss a third type that is Japanese flower arrangement, which I will deal separately. Uh, uh, but here I'll give you the basics about it. In this flower arrangement, very few flowers along with leaves are used, uh, especially actually during uh, uh, in the Buddhist temples, uh, especially in those temples, the, uh, the, the, the flowers are used for worship and they are offered to the gods. So in Japan, it is called Ikebana, this style, especially this one. You can see the picture. Uh, today in Japan, there are several methods of Ikebana. Uh, uh, Sogesta is there, Ikebana is there, Sogesta is there, Orkea is there, Sofu is there, etc. Each with its own theory of flower arrangement based on lines. The flowers when arranged in shallow container is called Moribana. And an arrangement in tall containers is called Nejiri style. 
So we have different styles of flower arrangement in Japanese flower arrangement. Today only this much. With this I stop here. Thank you so much for listening patiently. And if you like it, please like it, share it and also subscribe it. Thank you.